Oh my God, I see it. <laughs> right there. Another piece of gold, baby. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I should keep my eyes on the road. Today I'm gonna to be doing something that I typically don't normally do and that's test new spots to find gold. Normally when I go prospecting, I know that there's gold there so I go and work those spots. But today I'm gonna to be using my MindLab GPX 6000 to try to find signals in the ground that could hopefully be gold. A big must do when looking for new places to find gold is you gotta work where you don't wanna work, which means you gotta move those big boulders, you gotta hike those big Big hills and you just gotta go find those spots where you think nobody has actually been to before or at least didn't use a metal detector. I have zero expectation to find any gold today which could work in our favor because I will be more relaxed and if I do find anything that will be a bonus. Let's get tangled. This is Alpha Bravo Cheesecake. Do you read me over? Okay, so the river is a little bit high today. It's not gonna matter too much because we are metal detecting and we're gonna be up on these higher benches. But this is not where I wanna go right now. We're gonna go at least 10 kilometers upstream, which is about 5 million US miles. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've decided to wear my wetsuit boots today because my shoes, I don't wanna get dirty. And they absolutely stink. Spot numero uno. Now I'm not gonna stay here in the first spot forever. I just thought I would quickly stop by and just have a look because I have found a lot of nice gold right in this little area. Mind you, this big boulder was up there and I rolled it. <laughs> found five pickers, moved over here to the left, found a quarter ounce nugget. Oh my God, look at that. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Moved over here and found a couple other nuggets. Now, the bad rock wasn't this destroyed. Unfortunately, when you make YouTube videos, people find out where you are and then they just destroy it. They've dug right down below the roots and yeah, this isn't, this isn't good at all. But that does tell you that people wouldn't work that hard if there wasn't any gold here. So what I wanna do is just pull out the metal detector and scan all this just to make sure nobody missed anything. And then I might go further upstream a little bit, try the other benches. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna test the spot before going to the spot where I do wanna check out. Now I finally got myself a pair of headphones. So now I don't have to worry about how loud the river is. I can just plug in and find candy, baby. So I do have a target in here, really light. So I'm assuming that's gonna be gold, but maybe not. So I wanna dig up all that bedrock, put it in the pan and hopefully find something. I didn't bring a big pan today, but that's, excuse me, but that's okay. Something I've learned over time while using a skateboard is that not all signals you hear while detecting will be something. Sometimes it's nothing. Something we call a ghost signal. That's exactly what happened here. Because the water's actually flowing through here, you might be able to see it, but I doubt it. So I moved from the other spot because those targets were nothing. Came up here, got another signal. I'm not gonna waste your time. This was a piece of wire. Nothing, one. Garbage, one. Gold, zero. So I'm just walking upstream a little bit, looking for exposed bedrock. And if I don't see any in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna go to spot two. So I did come across some bedrock by this big tree here. Nice little waterfall. And I've uncovered a target right now. So let's uncover it. So I left all my tools downstream a little bit. So I'm stuck with using rocks. I really like the look of all this material. It's sitting on fractured bedrock. And typically, that's where I found gold in this area. All right. I can't put my phone too close to the coil. All right, let's hope it's gold, baby. So, I'm just gonna... Oh, oops. Again, I can't go too close with my phone. It'd be so nice if I had a pinpointer with me. So let's see if it's anything. Chances are it will be wire. If it's a little piece of gold, then I'll stick around this area. Otherwise, I want to go to uh, spot numero two. Was it anything? <laughs> yeah. A lot of bedrock. A little bit of a creek here. Do you think there'd be some gold up here? We'll have a quick scan here and then go to place number two. Just about to call it quits. I got another signal. 
sounds loud, probably wire. Let's dig it out. It's really, really important you dig every single target when you're in an area that has gold nuggets. And you're about to see why. Okay, target in the pan. A rock! Quickly, let me know what you think it is. Is it gold? Or is it lead? Or is it iron? Or is it none of those? Moment of tooth. Oh, come on, nothing. <laughs> I fooled you. God. So I know it's still pretty loud right here. There's nothing much I can do about that. But I still, I still have signals in here. A loud one right there. And a faint one over there. I hate digging every target because most of the time you're gonna waste time picking up nails, but you should always dig every target just in case. I'm sorry I fooled you and broke our trust, but we do find some nice gold in this video, so just hang on. Okay, so I moved the target from there to in here. So now, we just gotta put the target from wherever this is into here. Okay, good news. I have the target with my pin pointer. Where did you get that? Right there. Now we get to see what it is. Hopefully, it's a huge nugget. This sort of stuff takes a while, but it can be worth it. So I'm hearing signals everywhere. So it's either gonna be a big target or it's just gonna be iron, iron that's in the rock or something. This is really annoying. I got a signal down here and in my pan. So I'm starting to think that the soil is setting this off. So I'm gonna go back to the metal detector and see if we can pinpoint it. And we only have a few hours left of daylight. So I wanna hurry up, get these signals out of here and then go to the other spot because I know that spot should be good. <laughs> I finally moved that signal. It better be gold. See, it's not in there anymore. So we got it out. I can't put the phone too close to the coil because it'll go off. Come on. All right, have it in the pan. But I still have another signal in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both of these targets in the pan, pan it out, and then go to spot two, finally. No signal over there. No signal over there. All signals in the pan, so hopefully two pieces of gold. All right, so like I said, there are two targets in here. Hopefully we'll be able to at least see one target. But I really want to go to that next spot because I found a lot of nuggets there during the high water. Oh, is that wire? <laughs> there is a signal. One of them. It's a piece of wire. <sighs> so hopefully this will be gold. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we got gold, baby. Ah. Oh. That's a nice chunker. Look at that little guy. All right. One piece of gold down. I really wasn't expecting to find any gold today, but we found gold. Oh, okay. Oh, thought I dropped it. This makes me want to keep detecting in the spot, but I can always come back here another time. So I'm going to go to spot number two, like I've been saying for the last eight days and hopefully have some luck over there. If not, I might come back here because this piece is well worth the effort. Bloop. New snuffer bottle, because I lost the last one. So just like before, I have found a ton of gold here under the water, which is irrelevant because today we're metal detecting, but I have found gold metal detecting this before. That was back when I had my Fisher Gold Bug 2 metal detector, which only goes about yay deep. But now this metal detector goes about Yay deep. I found a lot of silver spoons back when I was detecting up here, but what I'm interested in is obviously looking for finding gold. Looking and looking for finding, looking and gold finding. There's this boulder and that boulder, all these boulders. Those can, you know, go away. And all that beautiful bedrock right there can stay. I just realized uh, my headphones were off this whole time. 
You can still hear the volume, but it was so quiet. But now since I turned them on, it has noise counts cancel. It has noise cancellation. So now I really hear it, and we have our first signal. I just rolled these three Amigo rocks right there. We got a nice small signal in there. It doesn't appear to be directly on bedrock. There's bedrock, but the target's right here, so it's either gonna be a little piece of gold or garbage. Calm down, dude. Calm down. All right, so I don't have the target. The target, it's up in here somewhere. So I'm just gonna grab all that. Give that a, give that a try. Yeah. All right, might actually be a better, a better target than I thought. Just scoop some of this stuff. <gasps> a William! Just for reference, somewhere just over here during the winter time, I pulled out two smoking nice looking nuggets. So just working up here a little bit, there's a chance you could find more. I'm hoping this is gonna be gold. It's in the pan, let's find out. I think this is gonna be gold. <clears throat> I really think it's gonna be gold. Out of the way. It didn't sound too loud or too quiet. It had that perfect gold sound. Now, with that being said, it's probably not going to be gold. Come on, baby, moment of tooth. We get it down to the nitty gritty. What the heck? Either it was just a, a nothing signal, or I suck at panning. Oh, you like to burp. Get off of me, jacket. Not All right, I just moved some more boulders out of the way, broke into the bedrock, and I have a perfect gold signal. In fact, I'm almost willing to bet that this is gonna be gold because it was in the bedrock, and it's unlikely you're gonna get garbage in the bedrock. Check this one out. It's a crisp and clear target right now. So I'm just gonna get everything from here into the pan, oh, ugh. into the go plane. Oh my God, I see it. <laughs> I actually see it right there. Shining bright like a diamond. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Another piece of gold, baby. Is, I, is that even gold? Yeah, it's gotta be. Doesn't seem that shiny. Just in case. <laughs> Barely, but that's gold. Mwah! God, it feels good to be a gangster. So I'm obviously gonna stay in this area. I'm gonna work my way into this bedrock a little more. Go up, right there looks like bedrock, so there could be a little crevice right in here. And then yeah, hopefully we'll find more candy. In you go, number two. Bloop. Okay, dug my butt off. Got another target. So hopefully it's gonna be gold. I think it, I think it will be. That looks like bedrock, obviously, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's attached or not. Probably not. Wow, oh, that's my phone. Uh. It doesn't sound as, the target doesn't sound as good as the last one, so I'm starting to doubt that it's gonna be gold. All right, I panned it out, and it was a little piece of wire. Carrying on. <sighs> So I've kind of just been exploring. I left the camera behind because I just wanted to, it's easy to get distracted, right? But I did find another loud signal on bedrock. It sounds too loud to be gold, but that could mean a big piece of gold. My target is down in here. I'm doing my best not to hurt any of the roots because you want the trees to grow back. I'm on bedrock. I'm right in front of this big boulder and I got a loud signal. I tried locating it with a pin pointer. It's making noise, but it's not on it yet, so I'm just gonna keep looking for it. 
So I've probably spent 25 minutes trying to find whatever this was. But I did not want to give up as the conditions are perfect for a nice piece of gold. Oh, is this it? Oh, come on. It's a piece of rust. Gosh, that sounded so good. All right, so we have maybe an hour before it gets dark. So I'm just going to malatect the first spot on the second site here for a little bit. And then I'm going to make my way downstream and hopefully find something before it gets dark. So even though I knew that I could probably find more gold in that second place we were at, I got distracted and wandered off. But I'm sure glad I did because I discovered trash. Okay, it's been another five million years. I'm just about to call it quits. I came back to this spot because that's where we did find the second piece of gold. I wanna go back to that first place, but I'm gonna wait for a full day because I figure I could walk up the stream and it can be like a fun adventure. But for now, I'm just back here. I keep working away, not finding anything. Decided to roll some boulders down and I have a target in here. It's a little loud, but we recorded anyway. Whoa. <laughs> that one sounded really weird. Oh, that's, that's a really strange sound. We are on bedrock, so that's a good sign that there could be bedrock around. This sounds off. It just sounds like the detector's having trouble with it. All right, I got a target in the pan, and I still have a target over there, so hopefully one of them will be gold. So I forgot to record when I uh, panned this one out. That target was lead. Ah, oh, man. I don't know why it sounded so off on the metal detector, but we got lead, baby. Probably more lead in the next one, too. Being that this one is so loud as well, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be lead. Find out. <laughs> Did you see that? I just, right there. Oh my goodness. I hope I caught that on camera. Okay, shut up. I really hope I got that on camera. I just whacked the bedrock and boom, the shale broke, revealing this piece of gold. <laughs> ah, there we go. Nice. That piece was way too easy to find. I just hit this and then the shell split and it was like revealed right behind it. That's awesome. I imagine if I just started rolling all these boulders out of the way, exposing this kind of bedrock, we would find more. So I'm feeling pretty good right now, obviously, finding gold. I haven't been out prospecting lately just because I've been really busy. But I really do want to keep getting out more and metal detecting especially because I found some really good gold metal detecting and obviously it works. So like I was saying before, this is the MineLab GPX 6000 and I have Garrett sending me their new pulse induction metal detector called the Axiom. So I'm excited to use that and uh, I'm really hungry. I'm really tired. I'm really hungry, but there's still daylight and we're finding gold. So we're not going to stop until it gets dark. So I would love to say that I found even more gold, but I didn't. Hi! I just spent the rest of the daylight poking around with no luck. So here's the gold that we found today. I tried to clean them up the best I could, but a little bit dirty is okay. I don't think any of these pieces weighs over a gram, but I think in total we have over a gram here. Now I'm not going to say that this metal detector is the best on the market, but I certainly went over spots I've detected before and I was able to find these pieces of gold. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Polly, why is your coil so clean? And I just got to say, I like to keep my things clean. For the size of the coil, it looks pretty neat to have the little pieces of gold stick in there with it. Okay, so let's weigh these suckers. Piece number one, take your guesses, five ounces on the nose. Oh, I was off. 0.21. Piece number two, five ounces on the nose. 0.29 grams and piece number three the thickest piece out of the bunch take your guesses five ounces on the nose 0.54 so in total that will be probably just over a gram 1.06 pounds 